Hey guys, welcome to another episode of My Lane Perspective. Today we're going to be focusing on completing the front end conversion of my 4Runner. In the last episode we worked on the headlights and the grill, and today we're going to be focusing on the Move Bumper. Move Bumper is a company that helps you make your own bumper, so they ship you the metal, you weld it, you paint it, or like me, you get a team to help you assemble it. Installation is incredibly easy, but let me walk you through the steps of kind of my journey with it. I'll show you guys everything you need to know about a Move Bumper and if it's the right choice for you. All right, so here we are on the Move Bumper homepage, and I find that the first place to go is photos, and that kind of gives you a good idea for what other people have done for your kind of rig. Now, for the Toyota 4Runner, there's not a ton of pictures. You'll see that there's some that show off like a 2003 front end and then a 2006 front end, and that's what helped me decide, okay, I think I'm gonna go with the 2006 front end conversion. My initial concern was if a 2006 bumper would fit on the 2005. So I reached out to the team and they sent me this email. I'll kind of blow it up for you. And they were like, hey, I can't 100% guarantee that it's going to fit, but it looks like the mounting points are the exact same. So knowing this, I felt great. I pulled the trigger and I ordered the bumper as well as the LED fogs that go in the bumper. The next step was just finding a welder and they have a link for that on your website. So just find someone local. And then what I found was the easiest is searching by state. So in my case, I just searched in Montana and then I found two guys who could do the work who were close to me. So I gave them both a call and kind of explained, hey, I'm looking to make a custom move bumper. And one guy said, yep, I can do that no problem. So I ended up going with him. The next part was just figuring out how to get the Forerunner emblem cut into the move bumper. So I worked with some family who has a fabricating business and I'll put their website in the description below, but we were able to figure out how to cut out the word Forerunner and then get it fabricated into the metal bumper. So basically we just have a square rectangle that Forerunner's cut out of. We cut the same size rectangle out of the move bumper and then welded it all together. Once that was cut out and ready to go, they just mailed it directly to my welder. And then the next step is I had to make sure that the Forerunner was ready to go. So at this point, the welder was just waiting for me to drop off the rig. So I made sure that the headlights and the grill were installed since I was doing a conversion. And I was able to just drop it off at the welder shop for the weekend. And when he was done, he took it to go get powder coated. So when I was ready on Monday morning, I was able to just go pick up the bumper directly from the powder coater. All right, you guys, so here's the move bumper. And so you can see I actually had that plate cut out and then this is the forerunner that my family cut out and then my welder fabricated it in. Um, but this part just jets out from the bumper and then that is what's going to bolt up to the frame of the car. So let me get those bolts off. go hey so I just wanted to show you guys what I did for the fender liners so you have the fender liner and it was kind of just hanging down right there. Um, just took a heat gun to it right here and just kind of bent it up. You can see where it was rubbing on the tire. And then if you come through to this other side, still have to clean it up, this is just extra. But really it's just a couple zip ties holding the fender up in place. And that's worked well for me on other cars. We'll see how it works in the winter. And then same thing over here, just grabbed some zip ties. And then on this side, the reservoir for your um, washer fluid is in here. The heat gun just helps me kind of bend it to kind of form along there and then zip tie it up in there. But now I have a fender liner that follows all of the bumper. But you can see it doesn't really poke out or anything. And I think that's gonna help the inside of this just from getting rock chips and stuff but I don't know, that probably took me 30, 40 minutes and it's already starting to snow again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today. Next step would be getting those fog lights on there and getting those wired up, but I'm gonna save that for another day.
All right, you guys, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of My Lane Perspective. The front end conversion is done on this vehicle. To go from an accident like this to now something like this, I think is a phenomenal result. I was really happy to be able to work with a team to get this customized and look exactly the way I wanted. And I think the move bumper is a great option for someone if you can't weld, I think it still makes sense. Or if you can weld, it's an even better do it yourself project. So thanks for watching this episode and let me know down in the comment section below, is a move bumper something you're gonna move forward with or did you go a different direction? I'm excited to hear from you guys and we will see you in the next episode. This is a 2005 Toyota 4Runner with a 2006 front end conversion as well as a move bumper. No, I can't do that. That's Doug DeMiro's intro. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Watch me fall on camera. That'd be fun.